Hello, Cancer. I know I'm super late. Blame it on the camera situation. Next. Oh, my goodness. I have another card from a different deck. Um, I'm actually going to shove like this. Meanwhile, I talk to you guys. Let's see. Cancer, Cancer, what's going on? I know big changes for all of us for the next six months or longer. All right. Okay. So the 31st, August 31st today to September, September 6th. Okay. But starting tomorrow I'll be able to um, start videos up again okay <clears throat> if that makes sense the sooner I get them out the better right maybe we, I'll have your guys's um, the beginning of September to mid month hopefully really really soon you guys because this camera only lets me record a certain amount. It's okay. It's okay. I'm getting a call. Okay. Let's see. Cancer. Cancer. Obviously, before I started the camera, you know, I kind of already prepped myself, meaning I already know what sign I'm going to do. And, of course, while I had you guys in my, in my mind, I started to feel very overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Stressed out, but not too much because usually when I feel that stress, it'll be very um, stuffy, if that makes sense. But I just kind of feel like I'm exhausted, overwhelmed, you know what I mean? So I don't know exactly what you guys are going through, but once again, remember, we had you know, we're still in retrograde, um, the solar eclipse. So one, remember, it's still affecting a lot of us. <clears throat> okay. So remember that these are general. They're not going to resonate with everyone. Take whatever does. Leave whatever doesn't. <coughs> Sometimes only one card resonates with you. All right. I think they're ready. Okay, let's see what's going on. So let's get three cards out for the past. Let's see, let's see. Spirit says, and angels, what messages do we have for cancer? August 31st, September 1st, 2017. Let me. Where's my. So in the past, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of Pentacles, 
and Judgment card in the reverse. We'll get to this in a bit. Let's concentrate over here. Okay, the Two of Pentacles. First of all, very um, earth sign here. Very earthy here. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay. And with the Two of Pentacles, a lot of you were juggling two things or more. Okay. And could be most likely a um, having to do with work financially, like, you know, trying to figure out that issue and balancing out. I'm, I'm getting just everything in general. So work for sure. And whether you're in a relationship or just you trying to get get a good sense on what's going on in your life if that makes sense I mean it may sound a little confusing but I kind of feel like in the past it was kind of like you weren't sh you you weren't sure what what what's going on okay the ace of pentacles so I feel I feel like people have been there for you giving you money or you've been giving them money you've been there financially but i feel like people are giving you money okay i feel like at this point remember that you may have gone through some hard times you know needing money but i feel like after that you, a lot of people have been helping you whether it's your mom your sister your cousin your aunt, your neighbor, you know, I feel like they have really been there for you, okay? And yeah, a lot of you did get a job as well, started a new work, but, you know, I see a helping hand. I, I, don't, I don't see it so much being you. It's somebody else around you, okay? Um, more earth sign here. I don't know if you guys are with an earth sign or an earth sign is helping you financially you know being there for you supporting you um from all all the stuff that that's been going on with you the seven of pentacles okay i feel like i mean just look at this card notice how this person here is just looking down and you know it doesn't look so much positive the face that she's making or he's making like, yeah, you know, I've been doing this. After this, I'm going to go drink a, a beer. But no, it's kind of like, is this, is this really how my life is? Is this how it's going to continue? Okay. So I don't know if some of you are just tired of the same, you know, everyday What is that word? Every day, waking up at a certain time, getting off at a certain time, the same job, the same people. You know, there's times where it's like, okay, it's fine, it's work, whatever. But there's times where it's like, man, I, I could be doing something better for myself. I could be. Okay, but I feel like some of you are a little comfortable in in what's going on here because with the judgment on top of it i feel like you know what's going on okay you're juggling financially and but money's still coming in and yeah there's there's a point again where you feel like is this really how I'm going to continue living my life? But I feel like you're you're comfortable with that. You're it's fine. It's fine. I mean, maybe some people might see it like you know, look at you and it, it's a, a stressful <clears throat> even for you, right? It's like I I feel like you want something different 
but I don't know if you're ignoring, you know, your angels or I feel like at this point, you know, angels are trying to guide you or trying to help you out or trying to give you signs and maybe you should start this or I feel like there's there's something there you know that's trying to give you signs but again you know I feel like you were comfortable with this or you're just taking it day by day you're not rushing <clears throat> you know what I mean but this is in the past okay it's a little not making too much sense and recently with the readings that I've been doing, I have not been clarifying, not because I don't want to, but because I feel that um, I, I don't need to, I don't need to. Okay, so, but like I always mention, I'm going to finish with the rest of these cards and if I strongly feel like I need to clarify one card or two or or so on then I will, okay? But believe me, usually I haven't. So <clears throat> So let's see. Let's see what's going on in presents. <coughs> okay, the 2 of wands. In the reverse no they didn't want to come out well with the two of wands it doesn't really look so much positive I know there's so much going on in this in this card here with this deck there's just so much colors but you know in the upright it's looking looking at um what's what's out there for you okay but it's obviously in the reverse so okay Let's see, let's see, you guys. One more card, one more card. Cancer, what is going on? What is going on? This might not be much of a positive reading. Yeah, we have the Two of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Prince of Swords. Okay, but interesting how the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, you know, one on top of the other... The Six of Pentacles here. Either you have been giving, giving people money, helping people out. Okay? But it's gotten to the point where it's like, hey, do you remember I helped you out? What about me? You know, I kind of feel like now it's gotten to the point where, you know what, I, ha I helped you so much. If you want me to continue to help you, then, you know, at least go mow my lawn. Or at least babysit my kids for the weekend. You know, I feel like now it's, I mean, you're still helping. And maybe the other person might feel like, but why do I got to do something in return? You know what I mean? So... I don't know if you've been constantly helping people and what I'm seeing here is financially. So 
So whether you're spending your gas on them, whether you're giving them at least a dollar or two dollars a day, but it's adding up. It's adding up. And I I don't know. I mean, these are general. So it's not strictly on love. It's not strictly on <clears throat> career whatever messages want to come through okay so i strongly believe this has a lot to do with finances okay for this month so if you were hoping for something for love i'm sorry but i will be pulling out some cards from the romance angels okay so i mean the two of wands i feel like there's like what do i do where do i go am i gonna be okay or like, oh, I spent all my money. How am I going to make more money now? And then I got to pay this. I feel like there's, it's everywhere right now. Okay. I, I see money coming in, but I see it going very quickly. So, and with this Prince of Swords here, you know, there's, again, scattered thoughts like, you know, one minute you're thinking this, and then the next minute that, and then, you know, it's like, oh my God, like, I, I don't know, I kind of feel like that's why I was feeling overwhelmed in the beginning of of the reading. How You know, how you're just thinking so much and so much, and it's day after day, and it's like, oh my God, like, I, I just can't take it anymore. I, I'm exhausted. This is too much for me. I'm I'm everywhere. Okay, so, I mean, if you're helping a loved one, let's take a look at your potential future before I even continue what I was going to say, but, oh my kids, let's see, potential future, let's see, let's see. Okay, before I do that, let me just bring this back down. And I just keep wanting to look back. Because the way I have it out, the layout here, I keep wanting to come back here. And maybe it's my message to give to you that you're not listening to, you know, angels or... Like yourself, you know how when you get that in your head, like, no, don't give that person $5. But then a part of you is like, oh, here's a $5 in. But deep down inside, it was like, no, I told you not to. You shouldn't have done it. But there's your hand. You know, I, I feel like angels or guides were there like, they're with you telling you no 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 stop it but what were you doing is ignoring that throwing them to the sidelines like no like i'm sorry but this person really wants my help so i'm going to be there but i feel like it's it's gotten out of hand i mean you can only help somebody so many times okay so <clears throat> The Ace of Swords. <coughs> Let's see. Two more cards. Two more cards. Okay. Some of you are just going to finally like. It's going to make sense. Okay. Because we go from the Knight of Swords you know your mind everywhere to the ace of swords so for some of you yeah it's gonna be like you know what i'm going crazy crazy over nonsense crazy over the same thing over and over like no i i kind of feel like it, you're gonna finally listen listen to yourself to your higher self you're gonna listen now and it's like i need to cut you
not literally, but like just, again, there's only so much you could do for someone. And that's it. And that's it. That's, it's because I'm just looking at, you know, your all these cards up here, except this Ace of Swords. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. Because I understand you're trying to live your, you know, your life and do better for yourself. If you have kids, for your kids, for your family, if you're taking care of your mother. But then there's somebody, there's always going to be that one or more people on the side that's like, hey, you know, can you, can you be there for me? Or, hey, can you take me here? Or can you, it's like, damn, you know? I mean, I'm not trying to say don't do it, but... At this point, it's it's getting out of hand. Okay. The bottom of your deck, the five of pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> all right, all right. We have the ace of swords. We have the lover's card. We have the four of pentacles and this five of pentacles here. Okay. So, yeah, finally some of you guys are like, let me cut the BS here. But it, it's interesting because this is this is something that I wanted to see in your reading. Something positive, something to try to, you know, see what's going on, what can help you, right? <laughs> but the deeper we go in, it's it, it's, it throws me off again. Okay, we have the lover's card. So, I mean, there's... Okay. Four of Pentacles. See, with the Four of Pentacles here, you're holding on to... I feel like some of you guys are still going to hold on to the person that you were dealing with because I feel like you have put a lot of time into this person. Like you worked really, really hard and you're holding on to everything that you worked for. Okay, so, but also... Also, this is where I, I get a little bit proud, proud of you, is the Ace of Swords, the Lover's card, and the Four of Pentacles. So your mind is clear, you're thinking clear, you're doing something that makes you happy, And you're being greedy. <laughs> I know it sounds a little like that. Well, that's messed up. Being greedy. But I feel like some of you, that's what you need to do. Is even lie. Like, no, I don't I don't have $5. But you have like $100. You know what I mean? I feel like some of you guys are just... I, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. And... I mean, it's because what I'm getting to, I don't want to, I don't want you to think that this is a good thing. I mean, if you have to do what you got to do, then, then do it. You know, don't give that person the, the $5. You know, save that for gas for next week. But you know that you have enough money to be okay and then to give that them $5 away. So it, I know you guys are probably thinking, what? You're throwing me off. It's a little confusing for me too. But just look at it this way, okay? Let's all just throw everything together and so it could kind of make sense for all of us. Is if you have given people 
night and day, night and day. And you're thinking in your head, you're, you're asking yourself or you're telling yourself, what about me? What about my life? Don't I matter? Doesn't this person understand what I'm going through? When is this person going to ask me, am I okay? Do I need $5? But that's the problem is that there's some type of connection between you guys. Again, remember, this could be a, a relationship, like in a, you know, your partner. So, you know, you've been together for, for a while. It's not that you're going to break, break up over finances. But it's also having to do with even you and your mother, you and your neighbor, you and your sister, you, you and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. You'll know when I tell you this, who that person can be. So again, coming back to here, I feel like some of you guys finally are going to cut those, those people out, even if it has has to uh, do with lying okay maybe don't even lie because the four of pentacles also talks about saving money saving money so putting money away even if you have to tell them like hey you know i i need to save a thousand dollars because you know i i want to make sure my rent is paid and insurance whatever Okay, so, I mean, I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys. Yeah, the more I look into this, in this deck, you guys know, oh, it's, there's that one person, one person or more in your life is just constant, constant, constant. They're not going to stop until you, you put your foot down. Okay, the five of pentacles, yeah, financial loss, but also being left out in the cold. Whether this is how you feel, remember what I was telling you guys that what about, what about you guys? You're constantly there for this person. Sometimes you guys are even out in the freaking cold with like, five dollars of gas in your tank and you're rushing to get home i mean you guys are not alone but it, it's doing too much it's doing way too much look at that the ten of wands stress you're doing too much for other people you're taking on too much yeah it, it, it's getting out of hand it's getting out of hand I feel like this person is controlling you, controlling your money. Ugh, my goodness. Let's see what romance angels. Let's see. Let's see angels. Let's so just see what I have for cancer. August 31st, September 6th, 2017. Now, in the past, I've done past, present, and future with the romance angels. But... Now I'm just whatever messages want to come out. So whether this is, you know, for singles or for relate and people who are couples, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Okay. So the first one is new love. A new person has steered your romantic feelings. Okay. So there might be a new person coming into your life. Also... In the relationship, maybe you guys have changed and doing things differently, seeing things differently. You know, that obviously helps a relationship out. Okay. And then unrequited love. I feel like some of you are breaking up. I feel like some of you are cutting off, cutting off an earth sign, air sign. Again, they might be taking your money. They might be using you. But anyways... Unrequited love. There's like a mosquito. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay. So maybe for those who are couples. Also the ones that are just um, 
looking you know at this one particular person and it's like no it's i don't know you're gonna find something horrible about him or something i, I don't know you know it's Healing family issues. Okay. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. Maybe some of you guys need to do that. Some of you guys need to even... Um, for those who don't have parents, but it's like, you know how you have that aunt that's been there for you since you were a kid or your grandma... Okay, whoever you have issues with, I just kind of feel like be positive, be positive, positive, positive. <sighs> Remove all negative energy, negative people out of your life. Bring nothing but positive. I know sometimes it hurts. You know, we might have invested so much time, so much energy into people and it, it you know it passes us by and we look back and it's like damn it's been nine years but i just can't do it anymore but also a part of you is like you know it hurts it hurts but it's time it's time it's time for you to grow it's time for you to again let go of the negative people and bring nothing but the positive in okay because I feel like a lot of you have been doing this for many years. Seven years. Six years. A lot of years. Okay? A lot of years. Alright, so angels. What angels have. What messages they have for you. They have. Um, first card. Nurture. Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now, okay? So if there's kids in your life, just, even if it's your sister's kids or, or something, you know, just kind of go and, go and hang out with them. Do one-on-one -on -one and just kind of, and of course, kids, kids always make us laugh. And of course, laughing is, you know, just very positive vibe. So if you need to do that, then, then do that, okay? Divine order. Archangel Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Okay. Victory. Archangel Sandalphon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Patience. Patience. Okay, Cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a 